Hey y'all. What's going on? Y'all. Yeah. It's a never ending story. We're still on the hunt for a living room set. Slow down. Slow down. Ooh, who that blonde? Who that, who up, that blonde? You got nail glue? Nail glue? No. My nail cracked. I'm not about to go put nail on the Look at my niece, y'all. Ain't she cute? Ain't she cute? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad's at the nail salon now. Yeah, no, I had a baby. She's not with... there now. Oh, no. The car's gone. Okay, so. She went to take ta drop Tally to Red Hook and get her hair done. Yeah, and then she's going, coming back here to go to Bowles to the salon. I'll probably be gone by then. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's why y'all going out tonight, right? When was your birthday? 13. <laughs> I said happy I said... birthday. <laughs> yes, I did. On a picture you posted. Something about something 23. Oh. See? Yeah. See? Uh-huh. Oh no, not not her checking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, yeah, she's crazy. I'm checking. That that um the hell nice on. on you. Thanks. I was so scared. Oh, that it wouldn't look right? Yeah, because my eyebrows are so dark. I'm just like, uh You're a real Barbie out here, son. Oh man. I got a, a Barbie outfit too. You do? Yeah. You want it? <laughs> no, I actually it. Oh yeah. It's a it's a skirt and a, a top, but you might have to take it in a little bit. That's but, fine. Yeah, and it says Barbie all over it. I didn't see no text message on the, or comment. Yeah, I did it. Cause I remember <laughs> when I called you and asked, was it was it Lexi's birthday today? Yeah, guess? he did. You were sitting at the table, something about twenty three years old, something twenty three. Yeah, cheers to twenty three. Yeah, and I put happy birthday. Well, when you go inside, just look a little harder. <laughs> See you later. I'll talk to you later. Have fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're on the hunt for a living room set. Still haven't found one. And the, the problem is not, it's not the price or anything else. It's the size of the set. Because the building we in, live in is like an old building. This, the building's been here before my grandmother was born, basically. <clears throat> and, you know, back in the days when they made those, build those old apartment buildings, they made the, the entrance doorway. Pretty narrow. Pretty, yeah, kind of narrow. So, with the new modern furniture that they make today, it's made to go into wide doors. And... I don't have a wide door. So the company, the furniture company solution to us was to have uh, to have someone come in because they have companies out here that will come in, break up your furniture. Professional. Professionals. Man. I know you need a profession to break some shit up. Come in, break your furniture, bring it inside, and then rebuild it back in once they get it inside the house they rebuild it so you're right now the set we wanted was a little over three thousand right who the hell and i'm i'm passing by church so sorry lord because whenever i go past a church if i'm cursing i i put the brakes on real fast um who the heck is go around let's go go who go. The, who the heck is paying three thousand or over three thousand dollars to have somebody come on. and break their brand new setup and rebuild it? So my my thing was what I said to oops, what I said to him. It's an old man. What I said to um, what I said to them. Well, what we said to them was, and so what's going to happen when we move? and the set has to be removed from the apartment. We would have to have somebody come and break it again and rebuild it again. And he was like, yeah, we he was like, him. yeah. I said, and we gotta, and it's gonna cost, right? He's like, well, yeah. But it, it doesn't matter about the cost. The cost is not the point that I'm making. The, the point I'm trying to make is, so we're just gonna keep having somebody coming and breaking up our new stuff. And just get weaker and weaker. And exactly. Weaker. I mean, how much, how strong will it will it be if, if if it has to keep being broken up? 
So unless that was my a, point. Unless they put a new wood in it, like the wood they break, whatever they break. Ooh. You see this dude? Yeah. Whatever I, they break, they replacing it with new wood, unless they doing that. Well, I don't know. I ain't taking that chance. It just, it's just the point of spending that kind of money for something to just to be broken up, right. something brand new to just be broken up. And then when we go to move, we got to have somebody come and break it up again and then rebuild it again. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, who got money to keep doing it? You're already paying over $3,000 for, for the set. Then to pay them to break it, pay them to rebuild it. Ball, yeah. Then pay them to break it again once you move. And then pay them to rebuild it again once you get it back into your new place. Mm -hmm. Like, who's doing that? Like. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all, that's our situation. So right now we going looking for um, a living room set. Now, I'm hoping that we can find something before Thanksgiving, yeah. which I doubt because it doesn't it, it doesn't seem to be going to that quick unless you go one of the discount furniture places in, in you know in the neighborhood. Those you can get yeah. probably next day because they have a warehouse. But With these big stores. Take at least but I mean honestly honestly I'm not even stressing that because I've decided y'all I'm not cooking for Thanksgiving I'm not cooking because nobody's gonna be there he doesn't get he has to work on Thanksgiving and he have to work the day after Thanksgiving he don't get home until one o'clock in the morning from his job Thanksgiving is over and yeah, and then my daughter, she works, and she doesn't she doesn't get off of work until nine. She don't get home until about nine forty, ten o'clock. Two lanes there. My son, he works at the airport, and he said the Thanksgiving Thursday is is his late night at the airport, so he don't get home until two in the morning. So I'm like, okay. My, my daughter, she's a phlebotomist, so, you know, she works for a Jewish Jewish um, um, clinic. So, you know, she got to work. So, my thing is this. What am I cooking for if ain't nobody going to be home? And then all three of them have to work the next day. So, when they get home, they're going to have enough time to just eat a quick, take a quick bite wash up and go back to bed so why am i doing all the slaving and usually when i cook for thanksgiving my husband he usually cleans as i'm cooking as i'm cooking he's cleaning everything yeah, that garbage, yeah to the store, he runs stuff. to the store for me getting last minute things you know you know there's always last minute items that you forgot or you need more of during thanksgiving when you're cooking so he so he always runs to the supermarket for me or the corner store. And then, you know, when I'm cooking, as I'm, you know, as I'm cooking, whatever I use, he he washes out and stuff like that puts away. And this is every Thanksgiving, every Christmas. He's not going to be here. So I don't have nobody to wash the dishes for me because I tell him and I tell him every year, if I'm cooking, I'm not washing no dishes. So I don't, my dishwasher is not going to be here. My uh, Aaron boy or Aaron man is not going to be here. So I'm not going to be. Who that? She said that. She said, Day of Baby Daddy tried to call me out for spelling my nephew's son wrong. <laughs> um, look, 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 look what she just put. <laughs> so yeah i'm not cooking i'm probably gonna go to my cousin's house or something like that because if i cook i'm gonna be the only one eating sitting at you know sitting in my living room uh watching tv and i'm and we don't even have a living room set yet so this thanksgiving is just sucks like it, it sucks you know so I'm not I'm not doing I'm not doing no cooking. I'm just gonna go. I hopefully we can find a set before Christmas. So I gotta have a set for Christmas. I have to. 
because we're gonna be open gift opening gifts and stuff like that and who want to be standing up while they opening gifts you know what i'm saying so hopefully we can find something i'm rooting for christmas because thanksgiving is basically over and to me it really doesn't matter if we have a set by thanksgiving because ain't nobody gonna be there so and if he if my family's not gonna be home it don't make sense for me to be home so i'm gonna go over to my family's house and just chill with my cousins and them, laugh, bug out with them. Anyway, but like I said, we on the hunt for um, our living room set. She said, I'm gonna make a Super Snacks character. Cause she put Richie Sucks, I said his name is Super Snacks. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna make a Super Snacks character. <laughs> anyway, y'all. That's it. I'll, I'll hit y'all back up once we get to where we're going. Maybe we'll find something later.